Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bish's RV with a quick little part tip for you. Have you ever closed your black or gray tank valves and yet there's still this little trickle residual slurry of bad news sliding down the pipe at you? If so, I've got the thing to fix it. But also to help you understand what, how, and why, it's not like there's necessarily anything wrong with the RV. This is also most common in things that have some sort of docking station, which is why historically we never really saw as much of this. But a lot of these things will have like your, your, your pole valves in here. Well, if your valve is up here and the exhaust port is like four feet away, even once you shut that valve, there's still some residual yuck left over in that pipe that still wants to gravity feed its way down there. Now, this is not too bad. You know, it's not too far away, but you see how this uh, has the uh, an extra little gray pole valve in there. Well, that's because this RV has two termination points. So you close or open that valve and there's like 16 foot of pipe that still has uh, some sort of draining to do. But by contrast, if your sewer exhaust point looks kind of like this, where the valves are all right by the exhaust port, you probably don't need this little widget that I'm about to show you. It still will not hurt though, and it will always give you like an extra safety net point just in case one of these valves or something like that isn't closing the way it's supposed to, just to make sure that next time you open the cap, you don't have a black uh, of uh, ugh, bad news. So instead of playing poop roulette, basically, and wondering if it's going to be dry or not. Like, I guarantee one of you watching this just had an anxiety attack when I pulled that cap off because you've had this happen to you before. It's simple. It's like a 20 or 30, $30 part. This is the little Valterra twist-on valve. And uh, just as the name implies, it just hooks right on here. Now, what's neat is you can arrange it in whatever orientation you want. So if you want yours to face this way or that way, if you don't want it to hang straight down toward the ground, you don't have to. But what's nice about this, it just... You set it and forget it. You can use your original sewer cap. You can use all your extra stuff. It's just, again, it's an extra little safety net here so that when you're done draining everything, before you unhook your hose, you can close that. And now you've only got like a two inch little spot right here. You don't have a 16 foot residual drip hose Filling some bad news onto your campsite, onto your hands, onto your favorite pants or shoes the next time you go to pop the crap cap off and empty out your holding tanks. Now these things you can get at just about either any online retailer, pretty much any RV parts and service center worth their salt. You can get these just about anywhere. They're not expensive, they're easy to manage. One of the only downsides to these um, is that the valve portion is exposed to the weather, but if you've got the RV winterized for the season, you don't really need this thing anyway, so take it off, put it in a tote uh, that is sealed preferably, put it in a storage container somewhere, and you're good to go. So if you appreciate little parts tips like this, little things to help you enjoy camping and not just buy a camper, make sure you like our video and hit that subscribe button. I've always got little things like this rolling out all the time, and I'll always do my best for you. And I'll ask you, do you have a little camping pro tip you'd like featured on a video? I'll see what I can wrangle up. But until next time, take care, stay safe, have fun. Keep your hands clean, everyone.